Hello everybody, happy Thursday. So today I thought I'd do a full day meal so we haven't done one of those in a while. And don't forget we will not have a video up tomorrow because we do family fun Friday. And I'll leave you guys a message. Today's gonna go up a little bit, or a little bit late because yesterday was a no sleep day so I could not get a day ahead. But after today they should be back to five o'clock-ish time. Um, so anyway, let's just go and jump into it. Here is breakfast. Okay, so today's breakfast, scrambled eggs, biscuit, and some apple juice. Let's see if you guys can see it. It is snowing. Hey, I don't have my other camera. This one is not picking it up so good. There it is a little. It's snowing. Okay, so now it is almost lunchtime. So we'll go make some lunch here in a minute. I need to make some kind of dessert. I'm down to two eggs. Um, I have some pork chops that I got out, so I'm going to throw those into the crock pot. Um, and just kind of make some other pork chops. I showed you guys that before. Um, I'm just kind of using what I have because I'm running low on it so much. We have no fresh fruits and veg. We have no, um, you know, very few meats to choose from. I have some ground turkey and I have these pork chops and that's it. Oh wait, and I think a ground sausage. Um, yeah, and like I said, two eggs, if I didn't say that already. We have a splash of milk left, um, a little bit of soy milk, and, you know, we'll just see. Let's see what we can come up with and concoct. <laughs> And I wanted to show you guys, look, I got down my gingerbread men and I put up my bunnies and I have my little bunny placemats out. They're so cute. Okay, sorry about that. I thought I was recording and I wasn't, <laughs> but with the grilled cheese that we have for lunch, 
And I then had opened a can of tomato soup. So it's tomato soup and grilled cheese is what we had for lunch. Now let's go on and put this um, pork chops in the crock pot. And we're gonna figure out dessert for tonight. Okay, it's no easy. It's just the pork chops. They're still a tiny bit frozen. A can of cream of mushroom soup. One stick of butter. And then one gravy packet. Just whatever gravy you have. This is just what I have on hand. That's it. I'm going to cook this on high for about four to five hours. And that's it. Super easy. Sorry. It's just dark day today. Um, and that'll cook for about four to five hours on high and be ready for dinner tonight. Now that is only four pork chops. My family is eating more and more and more. So yes, that will cover some. I'm going to have to figure out something else for everybody else um, that that does not cover. So uh, I have some fish, so I'll probably just throw some fish in the oven and then people have a choice of pork chops or fish and um, maybe rice or new. I'm out of potatoes. <laughs> so we'll just see what we come up with. Okay, I'm going to get really wild and crazy. I was cleaning out the freezer going through it to find some stuff that I wanted in the upstairs freezer and I found where I'd hidden a, some chicken tenderloins. So crazy as this is, I'm going to throw this chicken tenderloins in with this pork. <laughs> it's going to be a pork and chicken kind of thing. So that should be though enough to feed everybody and then I don't want to worry about cooking something else tonight. I might make some butternut squash though. I have some frozen squash. That sounds good with it. And maybe some applesauce, because I do have, we're out of fresh fruit, except for I have some of these green apples left. Luke won't touch them. The kids, for some reason, aren't eating them. And they really need to be used up. So I think I'm gonna throw that in for some applesauce to go with this pork chicken <laughs> dinner that I got going on. Hey, at the end of the month, when you're monthly shopping, you gotta do what you gotta do. Alright, so with these apples and stuff making applesauce, I've decided dessert and apples make it together. So we're going to do a um, apple crisp, I think is what I'm going to do. To the apples, I'm going to add brown sugar. A little flour. Some cinnamon. And just kind of toss that all together. Okay, in another bowl, we're going to add oats. It's about two cups. Two cups of flour. About two cups of brown sugar. A little bit of baking powder, probably about a half teaspoon, 
for the baking soda. Probably about a half teaspoon to a teaspoon. A couple teaspoons of cinnamon. And then just kind of mix that up. I'm just going to use my hands. Then I'm going to cut up two sticks of butter. And the recipe that I'm kind of following says to use quick oats, but I don't have any quick oats. So one of the things you can do to make regular old fashioned oats, quick oats, is you can pulse it just a little bit in your food processor and that makes them quick oats. It's just that they're broke down a little bit. However, I'm not even doing that because I just don't feel like getting my food processor and all of that out. And then with your hands, you're going to get in and just really smash all this butter in there. Try and incorporate it in. mixture down here in the bottom and just really press down in. Then put our apples in. Put my good brown sugar in there. And put more of this mixture on top. Okay, and then that bakes at 375 degrees for 35 to 45 minutes. So then we'll check it. So while that's going, my meat's done. So I'm gonna go on and put some rice in my rice cooker. I decided to do it with rice. I also have a box of stuffing mix. So I'm gonna do a box of stuffing. And I haven't decided what else yet. Okay, I also had some Jiffy cornbread mix. So I'm gonna throw in some cornbread. Go on and make that. Just some stovetop. This is chicken flavored stovetop. So this is so an easy dinner. I'm still making use of everything that I have. Thank you, baby. And my baby just brought me uh, some butternut squash. I'll throw that in. And this is gonna use up my last two eggs. Okay, so here is dinner all done. Charles is having ice water and I'm having sparkly water, but I made everybody else Shirley Temples. And then here is the um, apple crisp. Sorry, my brain broke for a minute. <laughs> here is our meat, which actually turned out fabulous with the two combined. So chicken is the, or pork is the other white meat, right? Here's the butternut squash. All I did with that is I just added some cinnamon, olive oil, and a little maple syrup and tossed that together and roasted it. Rice, cornbread, red, cornbread, <laughs> corn, and green bean. And that's it. That's it. Just a thrown together with what I had dinner, which I think turned out to be quite the feast. So I'm super excited. Charles back to working on stuff. I gotta call everybody to the table. So we'll see you after dinner. What they say, there are no kingdoms without rulers. Are you ready for change? We could be kings and queens every day. On the low, we are brave. Yes, even braver than the bravest. So.
That's empty. Just eat your pickle. Take bite. <laughs> Friday morning. We woke up to snow. And like a good husband and father, he is cleaning everybody's car off. He doesn't want anybody to be stressed this morning. He already did. William's over there. Now he's getting Jake's and then moving into mine. Okay guys, this is actually the next day. I know there's not a ton of the kids in this one, but I need to go on and wrap this up um, because I got a lot going on today. <laughs> so I will see all of you guys again tomorrow. Thank you so much for watching. Bye everybody. <laughs>